Mr. Mitchell, you are petitioning the court for two DNA tests to determine if you are the father of your estranged wife's two children, two-year-old Deshaun Jr. and one-year-old Bishop. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. You currently have custody of the two boys, so the stakes of today's results couldn't be higher. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Dalton, you admit you cheated on your husband, and today you're here hoping to salvage what's left of your marriage. Is yes, that Your correct? Honor. <clears throat> Mr. Mitchell, so you have custody. Today's results obviously mean a lot to you. Yes, Your Honor. Explain. Over the past few months, Ms. Dalton put me and my kids through a lot, Your Honor. You know, um, she didn't left, and in between the last seven, eight, nine months, you know, she didn't made a <clears throat> struggle. She didn't walked out on us, Your Honor. So what I'm trying to do right now, Your Honor, is um. Excuse me, Your Honor, because I get I get very emotional when it, when it comes to talking about my kids <clears throat> and, and talking to my kids because that's understandable. I, I, I she abandoned this, Your Honor. Like I said, she 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 didn't put us through hell and back. Um, she just don't care, Your Honor. So I just want to know the paternity of my kids just for my sake, Your Honor, because um. And it hurts you because you truly don't know. I, I really don't, Your Honor. And like I said, she's running back and forth and she's cheating and this and that, Your Honor. If she wants a divorce, Your Honor, I got these divorce papers. We could go ahead and, and divorce it and keep it moving. She could keep it moving. I could keep <clears throat> it moving and continue to, to go with my kids, Your Honor, like I've been doing the last eight or nine months, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mitchell, you say your family is destroyed because you're saying... She's in and out of the home, and you have the boys. Yes, Your Honor. What, what she did is she left with another man. She just came home one day, Your Honor, and just said, you know, here go your kids, um, take the kids, take the food stamp card, and, and, just, and just walked out and Your just Honor, left. That's, that's, not, that's not what happened. And so you, the, when she walks that, out, she it. leaves you with these two children, and you don't even know if you're their biological father? Yes, ma'am. Mm. So you say that isn't true, Ms. Hall? No, Hall? Your Honor, it's not true. In the beginning, me and Deshaun, like, we weren't really, like, serious when we had our first son. Um, I did cheat on him in the beginning. Um, it's okay. Go ahead and explain. Your, your Honor, what, what it is... He went away for some time. And, uh, like I said, from the beginning, I've been doing everything by myself. He wasn't working. Um... There was constant, like, I, I worked two jobs in the beginning with when I was pregnant with my first son. I worked two jobs to make sure that the household was taken care of. You, he didn't work. He gambled. You know, he Honor, didn't do anything that, Honor, that I, he was supposed to do Your as, Honor, I made Let her finish as her as testimony. A, I'll give you a husband, chance to respond. As a husband and as a father, if we were going to work together and do things. And like I said, it was something that I was bearing on me by myself alone. And he just, he didn't care about it. So I, I just got tired. But he's raising the children. Yes, Your Honor. Did you just leave the children with him? There was a uh, there was something that happened. And there, That's you know, I was for I was she, forced to leave my home. Nobody forced her to leave. When she left me, Your Honor, and left the kids and walked out, Your Honor, I was on our city bus in the in the freezing cold with my two kids. I did the going same. to all the all my all my kids' doc um their appointments they had to go to. I was making sure that me and my kids had what we needed, Your Honor, because I didn't have anything. And so listen. And that is commendable. It really is. <laughs> but it's also what a parent does. Yes, Your Honor. You're absolutely right. You get it done. Yes, Your Honor. What, whatever she calls her eloping or whatever she calls herself doing, I don't know what she does. She has these spurts and these moments where she feels that if we get into an argument, it's okay for her to, to, to stay out all night or to stay gone for a week. Or, Do or, you or leave the, the house, that's Ms. Ha Dalton? That's happened one time when we... When this happened the last, once, Sean. The last altercation that we had when we were gone for the seven months, that's when that happened. I couldn't deal with it. When there was an issue... Yes, I did. You admit leave. you left. Yes, Your Honor. But did you run into the arms of another man No, Your left? Honor. You didn't? Yes, no, you did, Your Honor. Your Honor. Yes, I, I was living with my sister, So, during the time... With a man During the time you all were day. together, you were in your relationship... Did you sleep with another man? In the beginning, yes. But since we've been married, no. 
She, she was just with another man, Your Honor, so we're still married. I, I don't and know. And we were separating, and we both agreed on the separation. Yeah, I, we weren't together. We were going to move on yeah, with I, I our lives. Her, so I, I we were going to move on with our lives with the force. I never talked to her. She got this party wild. Girl, I don't party, Your Honor. I don't go out to the to club, Your Honor. I don't, I don't Honor, go out and, and party or do any of that. Your Honor, we was in a different city, Your Honor. I, I moved to the city where her mother and her sister were staying, because she can be, her mother and sister helping, her, and she was being close to her mother. I didn't have no family where she was staying. It was about an hour away from where I'm originally from. You know, she get down here and, and got all her little friends down here, and you know, every day she leave me with the kids, because I guess she, she told me she works, she do this, she do that, she wanted, she wanted to be able to have fun, she wanted to be able to do something for herself because she's so young. You know, that's what she keeps using as an excuse. She's young. She's I don't young, party. Young, so she wants to be able to get out and, and be able to do what she want to do. And I did notice in the court papers that you are 37. Yes, ma'am. And Ms. Dalton is 21. Yes, ma'am. Mm. How long have you been married? Two years. Two years. So you got married when you were 19? Correct. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I'd like to first examine, Mr. Mitchell, the mm -hmm. doubt. Because you say when she leaves, she leaves you with the two boys. Yes, ma'am. And you don't even know if they're your biological children. Yes, ma'am. What is your doubt based on, specifically, for each child? So let's start with Deshaun. When I met her, I met her off of Facebook, Your Honor. She was already staying with another guy, Your Honor. I didn't know at the time. I happened to end up finding out once we was over my sister's house and, you know, some guy calls her phone, Your Honor. <clears throat> so when the guy calls her phone, I'm like, you know, who is that? It's her cousin. That's what she says. It's my cousin. You know, so when I said, okay, well, we'll call your cousin back because the way she was talking to her demeanor, it, it seemed funny. And like I said, I, I'm much older than her. So like I said, I done been there and done that, you know, trying to play these little, run these little game on me. I asked her to call him back. Once she calls him back, he's talking about they been having sex and, <clears throat> and, and he ain't been using he ain't been using condoms, and she may be pregnant. This this what he's saying, we were, Your Honor. There was never you a, spoke a time, to him. There was never a time, Your yes, Honor. Yes, Your Honor. I spoke to him. I, I made her call him back, and I spoke to him. He spoke to him, Your Honor, but that was not even the conversation that was being held. Me and the guy were that not was the sleep. Me and the guy were haven't been sleeping together for a whole month after he me Your and Honor, Deshaun that... had start talking, Your Honor. Okay, Mr. Mitchell, yes, you Honor. said during this time you had this phone call. <clears throat> yes, Your Honor. You believe she was sleeping with this man? Yes, Your Also Honor. with you, this is when Deshaun was conceived? Yes, Your Honor. Did this man say to you, I could be the father? He said, it's a possibility that she's pregnant. That's what he said. Wait, was this before or after you knew she was pregnant? This is before I even knew. Really? Mm. Yes, So Your you Honor. get on the phone with this man and he tells you that your girlfriend may be pregnant? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> but at the time, I don't think he even knew that I was even messing with Destiny. She was talking to him and talking to me, being, being real um, conniving and being real sneaky. So he didn't know nothing about me, just like I didn't know nothing about him. I didn't conceive until March. The last time I slept with this man was in January. Mr. Mitchell, did you sign Deshaun's birth certificate when he was born? Yes, he yes, did. Yes, Your Honor, I did. You did? Yes. I, I wanted to believe her, Your Honor. I really did. He was and there the whole pregnancy and the whole nine in the delivery room and everything. Was he expressing doubt to you? No, he was not. And that's why it was so shocking to me that he even thought that. And the baby's yeah. named after him? Yes. Mr. Mitchell, what is this doubt based on? Your Honor, it's the, the cheating that she's constantly been doing, Your Honor. It, it's been three, maybe four guys that she didn't cheat on me with. Probably three since we've been married. And then after Deshaun was born, you all obviously stayed together because not long after, you have another child. Correct. Before Bishop was born, which is my youngest son, before he was born, she was going around with some dude that she worked with. So this is a different man from the one that told you she may be pregnant? Yes, ma'am. Well, a friend of mine, Your Honor, actually works with her. So he was always saying she's flirtatious towards this in particular guy at her job, which she works at a, was working at a fast food restaurant. She'd come home and then she'd be like, you know, uh, my job, they're taking us to the movies this weekend or something, her job. And it reminds you, it's a fast food restaurant. And then Never. the following week, they're going to the, her job's taking her to an amusement park. I'm like, golly, you know, uh, her job doing all these great Did things for I ever say them. that? And then what, what ended up happening is she's going out to the movies with these guy, this guy and back and forth and, you know, and I'm just sitting here with the kids, Your Honor. Were you out in 
the boat, supposedly for I work, Ms. I went to the Bowen. movies one time, and this is after we had our son, Deshaun. I went out to the movies, yes, I did. He was doing what he was doing, and there was, like I said, there was things going back and forth. We weren't getting along. So, uh, yes, I did cheat with the guy, and I'm not saying that I didn't. Your Honor, I came home one day, Your Honor. This guy is sitting on my couch, Your Honor. Mm. <laughs> on your couch? And she didn't made dinner or lunch, whatever you want to call it, for this guy. You made we, lunch I, for yes, the, I, yes, I did. the new guy in yes, your house where yes, you live with your husband? I, yeah. Yes, I did. And he wasn't my husband at the time. We were, like I said, our relationship was real rocky. There was nothing where it was committed. Yeah, you weren't married Honor, at the we're time. We're not together, married at the I, time, I don't know Your Honor. How, how much committed do you get more than that. We, we're staying together. We, 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 we but what were you doing, together, though? What were you doing? I see that it makes you very emotional. Are you feeling offended, insulted that he thinks that the children aren't his, or is it just that the relationship... What, what are you feeling? Around the time I could see both of my kids, he was the only person that I slept with. The are you only sure, person and that you're I sure I'm, of that? I'm positive. Your Honor, can I, can, I, can I say this, Your Honor? She just left, and when I, when I say didn't give a care in the world, Your Honor, I'm seeing on her Facebook and her Instagram that this other guy that she's been sleeping with, how much she's so in love with him. Never was I that. saying I was in love Your with Honor, this guy. She and, ain't did nothing. And, Your Honor, and he's okay, talking about I put him on through hell and back. She ain't said nothing about her kids, how much she miss her kids, or, or I'm about to go do this for my kids, Your Honor. All the time I talk to her family, um, her cousins that she was staying with this and that, Your Honor, she ain't never told her cousins one time, you know, take this $20 <clears> over <throat> here or, or, or I'm gonna get them some diapers or get them some shoes or anything, Your Honor. She just been letting me do everything by myself like, like I don't need help. And, and Your Honor, I've took care of them for, the, for the, the whole time they've been on this earth living. He didn't work. You, you, he, didn't, you, he didn't contribute a dime to our household as far as anything with the yes, kids, I did, Your Honor, yes, your Honor did, he did Honor. not. Your he Honor, did I, not, Your Honor. I worked two jobs to make sure that they were taken care of. Your Honor. And so, are you, are you saying, Ms. Dalton, that while he was gone, you handled it all, so Even while you're not in the present, home, you Your expect Honor. him to handle it all? What I'm saying is he want to sit here and throw in my face what you did. No, I no. mean, you, you done it for, for seven Your months. Your Honor. And, and half of the time, you're, you act like you were doing it on your own. You're, you're, your family was helping. I didn't Your have Honor. that. So, but, but Ms. Dalton, he does have the children. I, uh, yes, and he, he does. does not know whether or not they are his children for certain, but we can at least say we know they are your children for certain. Right. Your so Honor. is there a reason why you haven't been contributing and giving him some money in he the last seven months? He didn't want me months? to, Your Honor. Every time he would say, Honor, you need to do this for the kids, to, you need Honor. to do that for the kids, and then it'll be like, oh, I don't need your money. My kid's good over here and this and that. So I'm like, okay, fine. Since you want to tell me that your they're Honor, good and they don't, and, money, and you don't but, want, but, and you don't want me to do anything kids, and you're going to throw Honor. something that I do in the trash? I'm going to make sure my kids are okay. What I want to understand now is you say you don't believe these children are yours. You can't be certain. Yes, sir. So what if one or both of these children are not your biological child? Then where do we go from here? Well, I wouldn't want to split the kids apart, Your Honor. I would still be in the kid's life. I, I just need to know. And if both children aren't yours, can this marriage survive? No, Your Honor. I, I, no, it's, it's no way it could because too much deceiving, lying, and cheating, it, it, it couldn't survive. She don't want to listen. She don't know how to listen and sit down and communicate and talk. While I empathize with your position, Mr. Mitchell, because I can only imagine what it would feel like to raise two beautiful young boys, but you constantly have a question as to whether or not they are your biological children, I'm sure that is difficult. You must have understood as a 35-year-old man, when you marry a 19-year-old, <coughs> you're gonna have some growing pains in the marriage. Yes. Because she's still growing up. Yes. I think it's time for the results. Are we ready? Yes, Your Honor. In the case of Mitchell versus Dalton, pertaining to one-year-old Bishop Mitchell, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Mitchell, you are Bishop's father. In the case of Mitchell versus Dalton, pertaining to two-year-old Deshaun Mitchell Jr., it has been determined by this court, 
Mr. Mitchell, you are Deshaun's father. <laughs> Ms. Butts, you say you and Mr. Richardson had a brief but passionate relationship that led to the birth of your son, Quatier. You and your mother contend Mr. Butts originally accepted and embraced your son but has since become an elusive deadbeat who refuses to acknowledge paternity. Is yes, that Your correct? Honor. Yes, Your no. Honor. Mr. Richardson, you claim Ms. Butts is a promiscuous woman of questionable moral standards mm. who has a history of attaching herself to whatever man will take her in. Yes, Your Honor. You yes, and Honor. your mother say there is no way you fathered Ms. Butts' child, and you intend to prove that today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Butts, why do you think Mr. Richardson started denying your child? Because Mr. Richardson is a mama's boy. Whatever his mom say, he gonna listen. At the end of the day, my son needs a father. Today, when we get these test results, he's gonna take care of my child. She's Mr. Lying. Richardson? Yes. Your Honor, I met her on the corner and gave her two dollars in a cigarette. Ooh, she came lying. back with me. So he listen, is lying. I know I got game. He's a I know I got I game, wait. but I didn't invent it. You the say... next man give her five dollars and what? He's Three cigarettes. Lying. How you lie? Like how you lie like that? You gonna take care of mine? How you lie like that? Try to hear that. You lying? Listen, Try to hear that. listen. Let, let's get some order. I want to understand this. You're saying, Miss Butts, your child needs a father. Yeah, of course. Quadier is three years old. Beautiful little boy. Awesome. Amazing. And how many times has Mr. Richardson Looks seen? Definitely. Three, three times. When he was a month old, he's outside. When I, he met me outside. Oh, he my son. He looked just like me. The whole nine months, he was his. The whole nine months. Come I out never his, said he looked like said, me. I never said he looked like me. He said, "Oh, mom, your grandson here. Your like grandson here." Lying right she came outside. outside. I never she said ain't he hold like him. Me. She never. just looked at him. Oh, he's cute. Never. Five minutes later, he go in her room. Oh, he come never. back out. Oh, I want a DNA test because my never. mom said he's too dark. That's ignorant. I never that's real ignorant. Like yes, it is. It really uh, it is. very ignorant, but that's not the only reason why I said that boy was not my grandson. He looks nothing like his other two children. Lies. He looks he nothing look, like anybody in our family. That baby like that. looks like my baby when my son was a baby. No, that's then not I went true. away. I went away for a couple months, Yana. Yep. And guess where she was at? I moved on. With another dude I while she was seven, eight months and pregnant. And who's going to So who's going to... Who's going to... Wait a minute. Let's do this one at a time. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, because I hear the doubt. I hear that you all have doubt, and I want to walk through this so I understand how we get to a place mm -hmm. where a three-year-old boy mm -hmm. still does not know who his biological right. father is and does not have a relationship you know with him. How many times I So, so hold on. Test. When's the last time you saw him? About nine months ago, and I seen her on the corner. And then what happened? I seen her on the corner. I told her, come back with me. I wanted to inspect the baby. I wanted to see if he looked... He's nothing like me, no toes. All my kids got the same toes as me. All my kids look like me. He looks nothing like me. Lies. And I told her that then. Lies. Rachel I told her that Stevie Wonder can see that sure that boy can. looks like him. Sure Rachel can. Rachel Stevie like Wonder. Him. Let's move on. Hmm. So, the bottom line is, is you really said, I want to looking inspect this child. Looking for a place to stay. That's all Ooh, you I'm want. You're just looking, looking for a place to stay. <laughs> I come back, you would have never do it. That's the father. Mm. You say you saw the baby nine months ago. And you did that purposefully because you wanted to inspect the baby and you mean it. Right. Take the clothes off, see, does it have my features, my right. attributes, does it yes. look like my family? Do I nothing. see any similarities? See when you <laughs> did that, what did you, what did you determine? How does... He looks nothing he like nothing you. Like nothing like Anthony. So None you feel like he didn't look like nothing. you. Now... Nothing. Not even a feature, Yana. <laughs> now, Miss Richardson, when yes. you look at the picture, do you see similarity? I see nothing of my son. I mean, my son has two children, two sons by two different women, but they still both resemble him. And after you all saw the baby, you and your son both agreed, we don't believe no, that that's I just your don't child. Believe. And he asked for DNA that's tests lie. continuously. Every time, every she time didn't want to have right. any. That's a lie. She didn't want to have the DNA test. That's a lie. Every time I, I, I asked for a test, every time I ask for a test, she says no. She I said, no, this your baby. You're going to pay for it. No. You want it, you're going to pay right. for it. Yeah, I'm going to pay for it. So oh, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. You take the hold test, on, and you just disappeared. Hold I'm, on, let's I'm get sorry. some order, let's get some order. I want to go back to the pregnancy now. When you found out you were pregnant, Miss Butts, yeah. did you inform Mr. Richardson? I called Ri Mr. Richardson February 14th, 2013. He was with his cousin. 
I text him, want to spend time with him for Valentine's Day. He ignored me. So I text him, like, that's all right, I'll spend time with my unborn baby. He called, was like, what? And I was like, I'm pregnant. He was excited. Oh, yeah, she pregnant. She pregnant. The whole nine months he was his. The whole nine months. July 4th, I went and down And during there. this nine months, was he going to doctor's appointments? Was you know, he coming... This whole... This, during the whole nine, nine months, he was in jail. When do you get in touch with her? You say... I wanna, by, what, I by the time you came back, right. what, what part of the scenario were we in? She was about six, seven months right there. I went away for a couple months. I went away, you know, I had a crazy past, but, you know, I changed that around. That's another story. But I went away for a couple months. When I got back out, I'm trying to get in contact with her because I remember her telling me she's pregnant and all that. I want to know if the baby's mine. Where she said, I said, I want to see you. She with another dude. That's got to be the father. So you say when you, when you got hey. back, she's with another guy. Yes. Were you with another guy, Miss Yes, Fox? I was. You were. But you I was were in already another... two months pregnant. And she thought it was my baby. She would have been at I my knew... house. My mom no. would have let her in. No. Open arms. That's and she knows that. Lies. You with another dude. Lies. We Lies. use condoms I, every time. He did say he would say that. Then Lies. I, like the first was... time we did it, he held a condom between his, fin his index finger and his thumb. What you're saying is he had the protection with him, but you all did not use it. He ain't use it. He opened it, but he ain't use right. it. He was holding it the whole time. Okay. And so, when you gave birth, what happened? When I was gave he, birth... Did you let him know? Was he there? He wasn't there. Not at all. I let, I let him know I gave birth. I brought my son to him Why when my son I was a there? month That's not old. My baby. When my I'm son not was a month care old, of man's baby. he met me outside. As soon as he see my baby, oh, this is my young boy. He look just like me. This when is my young boy. When did I say that? Oh, I you can't wait here. Your teeth, we'll go upstairs. Yeah? You just oh, a liar. Oh, mom, your grandbaby here. She come out, look at my son, go back in the room. <sighs> she and they tell. When you did I ever say that? That's my young boy. I never said that. I can't wait. I never said that. Can't wait. I always wanted to. So hold on, Miss Butts. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Miss Butts, when the baby was born, did you put Mr. Richardson's name on the birth certificate? No, I did not. Why, if because you knew he, he was the here. biological he, he father? Was, because he wasn't here. I could have sworn when the woman doesn't know who the father is, she leaves it blank. Mm -hmm. Mr. Richardson, you brought an exhibit. Yes, I did. Please step over to it and explain it to the court. When a woman doesn't know who the father is, doesn't she leave the birth certificate blank? And so this is a sample of the birth certificate. Right. And you say when a woman doesn't know who the father is, you leave the father's leave name the blank. blank. In this case, she knows who the father is. It's not my name. It's not so my you're name saying she put another man on the birth certificate? Exactly. Yep, the one that supported me my whole pregnancy. The one exactly. that the one that manned up exactly. and did his job. Because that's not my did baby. His job. Because that's Stepped not my up baby. And did his job. You sure can? And so, hold on. You say that is the same man? Is this correct? It is the same man. When you came back home, she was already in a relationship with. Yes, sure. While she was pregnant. Yes, sure. So it is your assertion that if she was already with this man a couple months after being pregnant, that she was, in your mind, she was with that man before, yes. and he is the child's biological father. Yes, sir. Now I understand. Why is it you deliberately put another man's name on the birth certificate? Because that man I was with, and he took care... Like, he didn't take care of me, but he was there for me the whole pregnancy, doctor's appointments, um, prenatal care, Everything. Like, he was there with me through everything. He made sure I was all right during my pregnancy. Something he should have been doing. That? Right. And, he and tried to name my, my... Like, my son needs a father. Like... But you do understand... I can, I can put him in line. My son won't even know who he is, for real, for real. Like, you want to name my son Andrew Marquise Richardson. Like, what kind of name is that? Like, no, we're not doing that. Listen. <laughs> but you do understand by putting that other man's name on the birth certificate, he is now the legal father under the law. Mm -hmm. But you're asserting that Mr. Richardson is the biological father. Are yep. you saying... So, you've already added that name. Under the law, that's the man that's responsible for so child support. Mm -hmm. That's the man that's not the that has a legal right to see names. him. Listen, this legally under the law, mm -hmm. that would be the man who'd be responsible to take care of the child. And he did. And th that's the person that the state would collect child support mm -hmm. in support of the child from. That's the man who has a legal right to see the child. Mm -hmm. Did you understand by just placing his name there that you were creating this legal father? This is really. a relationship. You didn't understand that. Mm -mm. In your mind, you were doing it more out of spite. You not there. This man is the one that's there. I'm going to put his name. He doesn't yeah. use did he now. agree to having his name obviously. placed? He yes, he did. Is, Neither yeah. do you, obviously. I sure don't. You don't use So brain. he agreed yeah. to have his name placed on the birth certificate. Yes. Is he still in 
Quatier's yes, life? Yes, yes. And does Quatier say he's his daddy? My son, he, he doesn't have a dad. Like, my son, oh, he said that to me the other day. Like, I don't have a dad. Mommy, you're my dad. Like, a three-year-old really came to me and said that, I don't have a dad. Mommy, you're my dad. That, I really was getting ready to cry. Like, really? Like, you are you're acting like a child. Like, you gotta, you brought this baby into this world that you so-called wanted. You try to name this baby Andrew Marquise. The father's kind of name birth dad. certificate. Man, listen. You, you're gonna be sorry when these results come back. Like, I, I didn't know my father growing up. Like, this, like, that's not easy. It's not cool, especially for no little boy. Any, everybody needs a father, especially boys and a father. He's three years old. My baby's growing up. By the time he get in his life, he gonna know everything. He gonna be just getting sharp on his things. Sharp. He done missed a whole lot. A whole lot. And that bothers you? It does bother me, because my baby's a phenomenal kid. Smart, intelligent. Very, Personality very, is amazing. He's... Very. Just look at him. He's an amazing kid. Like, he's, he's dumb not to be in his life. Like, you don't have to be in his life. That's an amazing child. Like, he will bring a whole lot of joy to your life. Absolutely. Bring, you got a bad day, he knows how to bring you up. And so, listen, does he like remind you in all. ways of Mr. Richardson? Yes. He does? Yeah. You say that with... Yeah. The, the nasty attitude. Them, them arch, I don't have arch eyebrows. It looks nothing like me. All right. Doesn't. Anthony has... So you nothing say you feel like he has eyebrows. his personality? He got, he got that, that dorky... Slow, thuggish walk. Like he. What is a dorky, slow, <laughs> he, thuggish he walk? It's gonna be hard, but you like ain't, Anthony. but you're not. Like he, he walks, walks like, like Anthony. But can you show me this walk? I wanna know. This, this flat, like, come, come on, man. Like. You don't even know me. How long were you two together? I met her that first day, and I hit that first day. Yeah, we unprotected sex. that first we day. Never, we never talked. Unprotected that we first never, day. Listen, we never talked about being in a relationship. Lies. She don't know me. Lies. She knows one part of my body. No, that's what she knows. So and I put wait, a condom on every time. No, you I didn't. Oh no, you did not. So wait a minute. Wait, put one on nine months ago. So Thank wait a minute, Miss Butts. Since we are in paternity court, I have to ask you this question. In addition to Mr. Richardson, were you in a sexual relationship with someone else at that time? No, I was not. Right. So at that time, you assert that Mr. Richardson was the only man you yes. were the day having. I met, the day I met Mr. Richardson, I sat at his house for like four, a whole week. I was at his house for a whole week from the day I met him. That whole week, I stayed at his house. Whole time, we was knocking boots. <laughs> I'm good. I gave her two dollars and a cigarette. So the I next mean, man come along, give results. her four dollars and two cigarettes. That mean, you know, she <laughs> going with him. Lies, one cigarette. Got a baby out the deal. Yeah. Uh, Got a whole baby, baby out the deal. A phenomenal kid. Baby is awesome. Anybody, anybody could want to be his father. Anybody, anybody would want to be his mother. Anybody. Every time sick. somebody, every time my son is around somebody, that person gravitates Looks towards my child because my child has got a big heart. Like he's an awesome he's kid. Awesome. He's an awesome like kid. Miss Jendi, and I can see this really bothers it you. It does. It really does. Because at the end of the day, it's about him, not him, not her. About him. Mm -hmm. And that little boy needs a father. And it's time to man up. He, like I said, Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder can see that he looks just like you. They can't see. Okay, well, the no, DNA can test see that. Let's do it. 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 You know what? It's not I think I've heard enough. Thank Jerome, you. Jerome? Yes. The envelope, please. Please. Here you go. What was that reaction, Miss Richardson? I want to know. I really want to know. I love she children. Is mine, and I take care of she my has grandchildren. DNA <laughs> and if he's ours, I would welcome it into our home. That's not a problem. I just want to know. I've been wanting to test you. Honestly, you want to welcome into your home? Always but... disappeared. Well, we have mm. done the test. Okay. Thank you, Your and Honor. we have the results. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Mm -hmm. In the case of Butts versus Richardson, when it comes to three-year-old. Quatier Butts. Mr. Richardson, you are the father. Oh, sorry! Uh, sorry! Uh, oh, sorry! Oh, sorry! Oh, sorry! Oh, oh, sorry! Oh, 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 you he looks just like you. Mm. Thank oh, you. Oh, where Judge is he? Lake. <laughs> where is the baby? Well, mm. I was just about to say, <laughs> Mom, Grandmom, as long as it's okay with you, I see 
tears of joy. I think my grandson deserves an apology. And I... Yeah. Listen, yeah. listen, like listen, listen. Before like, we get off on oh, the wrong track, <laughs> let's stay on the right track. Yeah. yeah. Can Quartier see his daddy and his other grandmother yes, in my Thank chambers? You. Yes, he can. Thank awesome. you. Oh! Court is adjourned. All right. Aww. Oh.